Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Ah, uh, yes, we are live again. Uh, my name is Oscar Machaba, and this is the moment of truth unzipped live here on Facebook, where we're going to be discussing everything ancestors, God, and Christianity. There's a lot of confusion among the believers. Yes, we have had issues um, because, you know, we've been colonized by the whites and our African cultures have been uh, have been demonized. So, you know, what? they sent missionaries here and they came as, uh, as posing as Christians, but their whole idea was just to make us, you know, what? Uh, submit to the colonizers and the whole white supremacy. But the Bible... And Christianity, remember, it is not a white people's religion. It is not from the West. It is from the what we now call the Middle East. It is a Jewish book uh, based uh, a religion, 100% Jewish, written by 100% Jews, where there were even black people in those times. So now, you know what, we cannot now throw <laughs> the baby with the bathwater. But again, now, we need to find out about the ancestors. Do the ancestors live after death and they can speak to us, you know? And then how do we explain all of these other things, the gifts that uh, the people they have and the Sangomas as well? So, you know, how do we explain all of that? So I'll, 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 be, I'll really be do, dealing a lot uh, on this on this tonight and if you've got any question and any comments as well please feel free uh to post uh i've got a monitor here i'm gonna try to be looking and uh every time when i see a comment or a, or, 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 or a question i'm gonna address it but you know at let's today actually um i must make a correction it is not an official ancestors thing you know, so it's Contra uh with Milk Stout. They are starting today what they call Ancestors Day. And they are, you know, they're asking everyone in South Africa to join them, uh, you know, at, in celebrating Ancestors today. So a lot of South Africans today, they have been passing, you know, I don't know what's the English word for Upasa. You know, they've been worshipping, let's just call it uh, worship, you know, worshipping Ancestors. You know, at our ancestors, you know, I am very uh, blessed to have lived, to have seen my ancestors and my cousin's children also saw the great, great, great grandparents. So I live to see my great grandparents and my grandparents. Uh, my grandmother just passed away uh, recently in January. So she was the last of, 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 uh, of, of they are very dearly good people in, in my heart as well. So, but then when such people pass away, also us with children, we are going to be ancestors, you know. So, a lot of people, they've got questions. Now, if in the Bible it says, um, uh, you talk about the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and, uh, you know, I've heard that <laughs> being questioned a lot to say those are ancestors. So, you guys, you also believe, you Christians also believe in ancestors. So, now, let's not waste any more time and just get straight into it. You know, now the first question now, it's going to be uh, some, do we have people speaking to the dead or the ancestors or people who are dead in the Bible? And yes, we do have, you know, um, the first one that comes to mind, it's, uh, it's in Samuel. In Samuel, we've got um, Saul, after Samuel has died, actually Saul approached uh, a diviner or a medium or what we will call a Sangoma. Uh, and then uh, asked that Sangoma to call Samuel from the dead because God couldn't speak to him and also the prophets were refusing to speak to him. So that diviner actually called someone. But what I like about this, in 1 Samuel 28, you know, yes, that diviner called someone from the dead. And then, but then the Bible says, 
uh, and the woman said to Saul, I see a God coming up from the earth. You know, so now again, you can tell, first of all, that when people die, they go down to the earth. I'm not going to go into do too much detail about that. I've already made videos about what's actually happening down under the earth. We've got a place called Shaol, which has got paradise and also got a place of torment, which people, other people like to call hell. But it's also, it's, also, it's, it's called a place, a place of torment. But this year, a lot of people now, they start thinking, okay, we actually have got someone who died and then now is being talked to. And that person is Samuel. And I also thought it was Samuel. But then when I look at this word here, uh, the woman said, I see a God. And the, the actual word that was used in the Hebrew Bible, it's Elohim. Now, don't confuse Elohim with Yahweh. Yahweh is God. Elohim means any spiritual being. It can be uh, angels. It can be sometimes even, you know, it can even be demons. It can even be God. Anything that is spiritual. So we actually do not know what that woman actually saw. But now the big question is, uh, can the dead speak to the living? So in Luke 16, um, if you read uh, uh, Luke 16 verse, um, if you start from, from uh, 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 um, you can even read around verse 22. You know, you've got a story of Lazarus and a rich man. Who died and they went to uh, the rich men went to the place of torment and Lazarus went to um, paradise or Abraham's bosom I actually got um, long teaches and videos on that uh, that that I've done uh, if you visit my YouTube channel you can actually see that I've got I've got more uh, details on that but now the issue is when um, after after these people uh, died, they went down to the earth. Nobody goes to heaven. Nobody lingers around. But if you read now in Luke uh, uh, in Luke sixteen, you realize that actually uh, I'm actually trying to look um, for the actual video that will actually demonstrate this uh, better. But it seems like I did not. Um, Put this video here but actually I've got a whole teaching if you go to my YouTube channel about what happens after our, our, our life after death but if you if you have a look at what happened here uh, Lazarus in the place of torment and they were taken by angels so you don't die and healing around and do what you want you are actually taken down underneath the earth in a place called Shaol or Hades so you, humans, we don't have that authority. Angels will take you and take you where you belong. And if you're reading in Luke 16, you're going to realize that it also mentions that there's no way out. Because Lazarus was saying um, to Father Abraham from the, from the other side, please send, uh, uh, not Lazarus, uh, the, the rich man who was in hell. He was telling uh, Father Abraham, tell Lazarus to go to the earth and tell my brothers and, and uh, so that they don't end up where I'm, where I'm, I'm at. And, and our father Abraham refused because nobody can leave that place. So now it is a question now. So if nobody can leave that place, please go and, and read uh, Luke 16, uh, 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 all of it. Now, if nobody can leave that place, so now who are these people that these Sangomas and the people that are actually worshiping ancestors speaking to? You know what? I, I don't want to take what uh, the Westerners have just said to demonize us. I want us to go straight to the Bible. So now, if you go to the Bible, you go to Luke 16. There was a girl who was a Sangoma, who was a fortune teller. You know, so now uh, the Bible said that uh, uh, this is Mark and, and the apostles as they were going they met that slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her, her masters, uh, much money because she was fortune telling, just like the Sangomas do. But here is the catch. She's doing these things because she's got the spirit. And I like the King James. The King James will tell you that she was possessed by that spirit so that you must understand that she's not doing this thing out of her own 
or it's not like a gift that just there's an evil spirit and it's not just any kind of 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 an, of, 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 of a spirit you know these are the spirits that we call uh familiar spirits uh you can actually go to read um Leviticus 19 uh, verse 31 because now you must understand being a sangoma being a medium uh and all of that it's actually forbidden I understand for now we've got people like um boma ponga going around you know uh trying to tell you that you can mix christianity uh with african spiritualities and sangomas and everything so you see them they were posing as christians but you know they go and they consult all of these sangomas but you know can christianity may be mixed with sangomas i don't think so now read leviticus 19 verse 31 i'm gonna read it for you uh it won't be uh on the screen it says do not turn to mediums or necromancers do not seek out them so now, this is the law the law is telling you you must never go to mediums you must never go to sangomas and i like it on also on the uh nlt it says do not go to mediums or those who consult the spirits of the dead it is strictly forbidden to speak to the spirits of the dead and i like how king james also puts it he says regard not them that have familiar spirits neither seek the wizards you know this word familiar spirits it's what actually speaks more uh about this kind of spirit you know so now people are thinking oh i'm speaking to my great grandmother or my great grandfather or whoever no you are actually speaking to the familiar spirit now what are the familiar what are they even called familiar spirits these are the spirits that have lived for hundreds and thousands of years and they familiarize themselves with uh, 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 uh your lineage you know this is why you find there's something that people call in in churches they call it um generational curses this there isn't really such a thing there's actually familiar spirits that familiarize themselves with people and they know the weaknesses of that family line and some sometimes someone somewhere up there they've made deals with these uh, uh 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 with 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 these spirits and now they need to live and they need to possess a human being that's why that girl was also possessed you know what you also read um that uh jesus actually was um oh i see there's a comment there uh oh yes uh my tabs you know uh welcome welcome uh yes i need to continue on this now jesus what if you remember jesus was actually casting demons out of a man and a man that had uh actually demons and those demons were saying no please do not send us to the abyss or to the bottom bottomless pit before our time because that is where these spirits uh, belong. But actually, if you want to know more that um, uh, 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 approaching Sangomas or dealing with familiar spirits, it's forbidden. Also read Deuteronomy 18, uh, verse 10 to 12, and also Isaiah 8, uh, verse 19. You know, uh, and also go to Leviticus 26. And also go to Leviticus 20, 27. I just cannot um, uh, open all of them because today I'm, I, wa I want to try to be as short as I can. But what are these familiar spirits? You know, what are these demons that are begging Jesus not to take them to the bottomless pit? Now, you know what? Um, I've, uh, I, 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 I would also like you again if you want details of this go to my youtube channel uh where i've got um a lot of this uh content uh and you know what you'll get that uh, life after death that has got much more detail so today i'm not really going to go much into uh the details of that but today 
I'm just going to tell you, oh, where do these spirits come? Actually, where do demons come from? You know, people don't preach this even in church. A lot of people, they think demons are, 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 are fallen angels. No, 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 they're not. They're not angels. You know, to cut the long story short, you know, there are two types of demons. Um, the first demons are those, uh, if you remember now, the angels, the fallen angels in, um, uh, it should be Genesis 6, if I'm not mistaken. The fallen angels who slept with the women, and they produce what they call the Nephilim, or what the Bible also calls the giants. Now, those giants, those angels, we are told that they are uh, by Jude, uh, by Peter, uh, that those uh, 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 angels, they are actually uh, chained underneath the earth in a special place called Tartarus, you know. So now, what happened to their offspring? They are, they are those giants and nephilims. They are evil spirits. They are not angels. And they are not humans. They are a, a mixed breed. You know, angels, they don't need to possess anyone because they've got, they've got bodies. But those evil spirits now, what happened to them? Remember what happened? The flood of Noah. Flood of Noah, God decided to end that world. And where do those spirits go to? The flood and then when the flood ended where did all those things go to the sea now this is why you hear about the marine spirits that's why the sangomas and them have a trust so when they do these things they are dealing with the spirits of the sea so now those are demons you know so uh, the bible does not give us much detail about that but if you read traditions like the book of enoch it specifically tells us that those children of 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 um of the Nephilims, they are actually the demons. So now the demons, they need bodies to live, you know. Uh, so this is why you'll hear that they possess people, you know. So now demons are also like the minions of the fallen angels. Now, if you go there into the sea where these Sangomas and all these people are initiated now, they, that's where they also get to meet all these demons and they are empowered by these demons and they, they, are, um, they are given these demons to operate and to do all of these things. We are not told all of these things. I actually had videos that I was even going to uh, to show you about the initiations and, and some of that stuff. Uh, uh, but I've got uh, uh, family issues that I need to attend to very fast. So I had a very long uh, family day today. So I couldn't even finish preparing everything. But I'm going to... Um, to, 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 to play a, a clip from one Sangoma um, so that you may also get take it from um, the horse's mouth and uh, it shouldn't be like it is coming from uh, me. Uh, now, you can, if I can find that video... Uh, Yeah, uh, there is this video Somebody here. said to me that they burned in Beppo in their rental accommodation and were plagued with terrible dreams to the extent that they had to actually leave that place that they were living now, in. Now, somebody else there are people showed me who are burning this incense. You know, uh, because you know what? To, what, to be able to reach and to consult uh, the ancestors. Now, you can hear some people burn all of this in purpose for that purpose. And uh, now, what do they happen? They are people who are giving testimonies. And she's trying to sugarcoat the whole thing. They're seeing things, demons, and all of that. You know, they're being attacked and they're, they are warning you, do not do this stuff. You know, because it, it, is, it is very dangerous. You are tapping into some spiritual realm where uh, now all these demons, they are coming because they, they familiarize themselves with your ancestors. They know everything about them. They're the ones who have been driving them to do all of those things. Now they know how to imitate them. They're familiar with them. So now they come and they appear as them. You know, now the other one I won't go into de detail with. Uh, there's some other demons as well that were creatures that before um the uh, remember uh, the earth was filled with water 
the whole atmosphere and maybe probably even the whole universe because we are not told uh, how far was the water but in genesis 1 1 we are told that you know what uh in the beginning god created the world that was and then between verse 1 and verse 2 you can feel that no uh something happened because now in verse 2 the world was formless and it was you know it was filled with with water and it was chaos you know something happened and we believe that that's when you know at uh because from isaiah 14 and ezekiel 28 you hear that satan or lucifer used to be king here on the earth uh way before uh, 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 um adam you know you by now everybody scientifically you know that this earth has been existing for millions and millions of years uh way before adam adam and them they're only about six thousand years or so six thousand years ago so now before that for millions of years they were creatures here who turned this world into chaos but now what happened to the world god shut it down and then it was filled with water but now when he he um he refurbished the earth uh during the times of 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 of, of adam what happened he separated the seas you know now now what happened to all those creatures that were trapped in there you know we do not know i also now believe uh i'll show you uh in deeper videos also on my youtube channel that those creatures uh that used to live here they were like type of humanoids but they're not really like us you know they're a bit primitive maybe this is why you're getting bones of things like well, hormonal lady and you do not know where they actually come from but they were creatures um that uh lived here and lucifer was king over them here so probably they're the ones that are also serving in the sea so now people go there they see all these creatures they're not really humans they're not so now there are testimonies also from people who used to be in the occult people who used to be sangomas i've actually also had a sangoma in my class someone that has moved from being a sangoma and joined my bible class because they saw the power even the power that they have had nothing uh, on the power of god and the truth and the light because where they are coming so they tell all of these stories you know so now when you hear someone from here from america from china from and they all got the same story we you know it, it, it tends to be um kind of uh believable as well but all of these things are not written in scripture so you know they cannot be taken as authentic uh and truth but then again you also have got um some churches now that uh like this church here uh it's also gaining a lot of support it's got two three point two million members you know across uh africa and they mix this uh ancestral worship um uh with uh christianity and now you know i understand uh black people they are tired of of or this uh white and oppression and everything and yes the bible has been manipulated but now does it mean now we can now start to go and um worship the ancestors you know uh i want to warn you if you read act 17 verse 30 to 31 i'll read it for you it says god previously overlooked people's ignorance about these things in earlier times but now he commands everyone everywhere to repent of their sins and turn to him he has set a day for judging the world you know through jesus so guys i want to really um uh to warn you especially if you read uh first corinthians uh 10 verse 20 to 21 i will read it it says i imply that pagans sacrifice uh they offer to demons and not to god i do not want you to be participants with demons you cannot drink from the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. You know, long time ago, I also uh, uh, made that kind of a mistake because I was trying to honor uh, 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 my father and all of that. And when they were doing those, then, but when you read the scriptures, you realize that God does not want you to partake in the table of demons. 
never nevertheless even bringing it to church and like zcc and all these people or, or do you cannot mix the things of god and the things of demons you cannot drink on both the tables you have to choose one i'm warning you so now if you go back there now in the past because we're ignorant because we did not know you know the scripture says that god overlooked it but now we have had the gospel we've got the bible we can tell what is true and what is not we can tell what is lies and what is truth but guys you know this whole thing remember also this whole thing of ancestors is not only you know uh about black people everybody else in the world all the pagans the whites the indians the chinese the, you know they believe in all of these things we are all in the dark but god chose abraham and created the jewish tribe so that he, they may be the light and they've given, given us this bible so we need to follow the uh, the lord's way because yeshua the christ is coming back and he's gonna judge the whole world so now don't think that you're safe if you're in that kind of a church that is um uh, that is saving this thing and the whole thing of you know of of making humans to be like they are something special and they are gods or they are divine you know it's not unique only to african culture you know uh now hindus uh new age mormons uh even if you come to the charismatic churches of or uh, the, the the so called um uh the word of faith movement kenneth copeland and them they also got that um wicked thing which they saying we are little gods well we are not gods human beings can never be gods there's only one divine there's only one god and that god has got three it's that god it's god in three persons god the father god the son and god the holy spirit nobody else is god everybody else is a creature nobody dies here and goes like what the hindus and these guys say you know you become you can transcend and you can you know what and you can or you or the new age as they say you can gain christ consciousness and become like a god or you can reach the nirvana uh, like in hinduism and you know become like a, no you cannot be a god and we are not trapped in these bodies you know god created these bodies and they were going to be we are going to be redeemed as first corinthians 15 tell us when jesus come he's going to redeem our bodies so you are not complete without a body when you die your body goes to the ground here your spirit goes because it doesn't have a body it either goes to the place of torment or it goes to paradise if you are righteous and we'll wait until the messiah comes and then we get those good bodies and everybody at the end is going to be resurrected that wicked they'll be resurrected and go to the lake of fire for eternity and the righteous are going to be resurrected to enter the god to enter god's kingdom so nobody dies and hangs around and do things for people and nobody becomes a god if you couldn't do anything in fact if you are a so called ancestor if you are defeated by simple people like whites you know what can you do for us even in the afterlife you know so now demons have been you know what you must understand the bible tells us even in ephesians that we are not battling against flesh and blood against human beings we are, we are battling as christians against uh spirits in in wicked places in heavenly places heavenly places means you know at in space you know in the atmosphere in the universe so all these planets don't think that they don't have uh, any beings the bible tells us that they've got beings you know and what uh, people or in science or science fiction they'll call aliens you know those are wicked spirits uh, in in all these places so now do not just uh, 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 um uh mess around and just believe anything and 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 just communicate with anything human beings they don't die and hang around this these spirits have been there they've appeared to people even to the whites you know you you go to europe you know they believe in all of these uh mythologies bo zeus bo you know bo athena and all these things these are wicked uh, spirits in heavenly places appearing to them and you know posing to be gods and everything and people are worshiping demons so now do not partake in those things you know we need to follow this bible from the jews we need uh, uh to follow true christianity we don't necessarily need to go western but we have to, to do everything we read this thing from the bible it did not come with the white people it came from uh the bible so today i see
<laughs> we don't have a lot of audience, so I don't see any questions. So I thought maybe people are going to be asking some questions uh, around this. But um, so now it's 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 a question now. Uh, it 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 worries me a lot. Let's no. let let us. Let, let us watch this video. No. That's what she said. She can't be a believer. She doesn't. sisters that acknowledge the gift. Honestly speaking, I don't feel judged. I don't care. I don't care what they think of me. This is my gift. Now, a lot of people um, believe that, uh, now what do I do when I've got this gift? you know or uh, i see visions i hear things um and and stuff so we've got that woman that we just saw uh in this series uh in this reality series called uh pastor's wives um her name is Impume. you can see she's even wearing the things she's trying to mix christianity and um uh and this uh african ancestral uh, uh worship and she believes that she's a Sangoma and she has went and she has done these initiations. You know, now she's married someone uh, who's a pastor and now, you know, these things are, are calling him. Uh, guys, now now I'm going to say something that, you know, what, um, you don't want to hear. You know, uh, and these things are not gifts, you know. I don't know why you don't call them curses. You know, because when... when if you hear where she gets it, it's, it's, you know, what kind of gifts follow uh, family lines, you know. Uh, me, in my family, this we don't have Sangomas. You know, there's nobody who has ever had a gift. But then if you go to those families where there's a Sangoma, there's always Sangomas, Sangomas and great, great, you know. Why? What kind of gifts, you know, follow that? We've already told you these are familiar spirits. They've got your family lineage. They've trapped you. You know, so that is why when you come to Christ, you know, you need, you need to denounce these things. You know, and another big mistake, I'm going to tell you this thing. Your pastors, they don't tell you this, you know, especially in the charismatics. You know, uh, in the charismatics, we are, we're actually uh, told that uh, to be born again or to be a child of God, all you need to do is to go in front <laughs> and when the pastor is saying uh, raise your hands and you know lift your hands and say this prayer after me you know the so-called sinners prayer and then you receive Christ you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior you know and they take one one verse out of the Bible out of context and they leave the rest of the Bible and this is why now people go out and they think that they are born again because they've said that prayer that is very far from the truth you are not born again you are not a child of god by just going to say that prayer you know nobody has taught that in the bible nobody has done it now if you go from from john the baptist to yeshua himself to all the apostles now read the book of acts this is where you are told the story how people were converted you know now true conversion for you to be born again the first thing you must repent of your sins you know when the, when the word of god is preached it provokes you and it it actually the spirit of god now or uh, convicts you of your sins and now you have to confess your sins now, when you confess your sins and you repent, and repentance is not just a regret, you know. Repentance also, you show the signs of repentance. It means now you are going this way, you turn around. You are not going to be perfect in, 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 in the same day, and then now you're no longer, you know, you're still going to fall. But the Bible says that um, the righteous fall uh, seven times, which means endless times, and, you know, God always uplifts them. So don't, you're not going to be perfect. What is required is that you are designed Thing to change you have seen god is uh, the spirit of god has actually convicted you and showed you your sins and now you have you have repented and once you repent once you repent jesus take those sins and then he has died for 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 your sins he was punished for those sins and they are no longer you know you switch places with christ 
and that's not all you need you must be baptized in water it's also another thing you are dying from 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 yourself and your sins and you are being raised to christ so you need to be baptized in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit as the scripture show us and you also will need um to to be baptized in the holy spirit as well so guys do not take this thing for granted i know you've got your own false pride and everything and now you know what someone comes and preaches some nice uh gospel about god wants you to be rich god loves you god and then you can accept jesus by just saying this thing you haven't repented of your sins you know your sins are not yet forgiven you have not repented you cannot be forgiven if you are not repented nobody taught that stuff that they're doing in our churches in the bible you know at some millions and millions of people you know you'll think oh Ronald Bonke has got so many you know this is why um the people that we think are the greatest here in heaven they are the least they are the most useless people or not useless you know they're the least of the people you know so now you you can go and convert two and three people and you know what uh you would have done much more greater than even many of these great men with the mega churches and everything none of the people uh, i can't say just none but most of the people that they are lying to are not going to enter into the kingdom of god this is why the scriptures say yeshua himself said many are going to say on that day lord lord have we not done this in your name those are christians and many mega you understand what mega is that's many and he's going to say, turn away from you, you workers of lawlessness. You know, and these, these guys, you, you really need to be careful. You're not going to enter the kingdom of God through the church and through all of these things and, and whatever. The truth, the Bible is there. Take what the Bible is saying. You know, don't take it from me. So now these spirits are tormenting you and doing this. These are the signs. These are the signs. You know, so now you need to repent. You know, they use something also in your own life. That, that's why you see, you know, demons never leave you. Even if they've left, the Bible says that they go and got uh, much more uh, worse demons and they try to come back to, to you. So you must always live a holy life and guard yourself. You know, I also have noticed that in my family, there's certain uh, demons uh, and certain uh, kind of lifestyle where we all fall. And I also fall into that one you know uh and i decided you know what you know every now and then I will, I will and i decided you know what i need to repent this i cannot give space to this kind of demons but then now coming back to the gift you know if if you really repent of your sins and if you really get born again that thing is gonna go away but if it's still there you know it is not a gift the gifts of the holy spirit are, are imparted when you get born again you know then they don't just come <laughs> and usually and usually and, and not all the time because the corinthians had all the gifts but they were baby christians but the best times to get uh, spiritual gifts it's when you have uh, spiritual fruits now spiritual fruits are, are things like gentleness love and everything that is mentioned in galatians 6. so now be careful now when you're seeing all of these things you know uh, uh, uh these are the things that uh, your great grandparents have made deals with the demons and you know at for for generations so now no, these demons when those guys die those demons need to possess someone they need to so now you're seeing those gifts now be careful you know you need look into your life you need to repent you need to get born again and you need to go to a real bible based uh, church and you need to denounce guys denounce cut these things out and that's another thing we we don't repent we don't denounce we think that we just go and make that prayer and we think these things are there you know they're there you find them even in in, in pastors you even find them even in bomb mom fundies all these things people are thinking that they are christians but they are possessed by these demons and and <laughs> hey now here's another one the last one before i close you are checking all these guys that are doing miracles and they lay hands on someone and someone started, you know. I told you, I'm still going to show you even the Kundalini spirits and the things from the occult and the Hindus and all these things. It's the same exact things. Now, 
okay, I need to respect Maponga for one thing. You know what? All these guys like Maponga, they do speak the truth. But they speak the truth, maybe even 80% truth. And that little bit that they've got, you know, uh, of lies and deception, it's much more dangerous. And they're not of God. That's how the devil works. You know, he does not come and lie all the way. But Maponga said something important. He said, where are those guys who you were uh, magicians <laughs> in the studies and everything? They've opened churches. And it's very right. You know, uh, uh, a lot of people, they just hear Jesus and what, what, what. The Bible has told us. In the whole Bible, the whole, the whole New Testament, book after book, it's about false prophets. You know, that are in church. These are people that are pastors. And so that we may be able to discern, to test. Nobody tests. You guys, you just hear Jesus, you just see people laying in. But you don't know. Those are demons. Those are people laying in. We've got people testifying about these things even in the CRL Commission. And the people that have done these things like that uh, Pastor Makado. So it's not, it's not something that is, not, that is impractical. So don't just see things and believe it's the power of God. You know, God does not do all these funny things. So now be careful, guys. Be careful. Because some of these demons, you are actually be, they're actually being, <laughs> being evoked and, you know, being imparted in these funny churches. You need to go to a really Bible-based uh, uh, church. I know churches like Baptist and them, they, they seem boring, but at least they are Bible-based. You know, they cannot be 100% uh, bad. At least you are safer when you're in such churches. So I'll, I'll, I'll plead with you, get go to such ch churches. You know, I like it because they don't do all this. No altar calls. Altar call does not make any sense in the Bible sense. You know, you don't go. You don't, can't just make this a serious decision. Jesus himself never made anybody be born again by just once. He says, "Go f no, no, no. First go and count the cost. Because there's a cross also to carry you. There's a law. There's everything here. It's not come one, come all. I'm trying to save you. No. You repent. You want to enter the kingdom of God. But you understand that what you're entering into so you know what you need to take time if you want or if you want to be born again and if you want to repent and then when you're ready you do it you know god will god will be with you now in those words i need to close uh i don't see uh uh non fundo um actually posted acts 2 verse 38 uh, what does it say, Nom Fundo? Uh, so you need to tell me what Acts 2 verse 38, because I, I really don't know um, all the scriptures. I hardly even, you know, know verses. So I'll, so I'll open it for you and I'll just read it uh, before I just close now. Nom Fundo says Acts 2 38 and in my Bible it says, And Peter said unto them, Yes, repent and be baptized. And every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remuneration of sins. So now if you don't repent and if you're not baptized, your sins are not, uh, there's no remuneration of, of sins. So now guys, this is what the apostles did, all of them. You know, you can, your sins cannot be forgiven if you didn't go that. And you know, you can't receive the Holy Spirit if you, if, if you did. So now you can, you can continue, deceive yourself and have your, uh, your, your pride. But on that day, you will be surprised. So guys, I love you so much. And I'm glad that God has given us this opportunity um, to preach uh, this truth and the word of God. And now, you know, I'd, I've never prayed in this sort of things. Uh, but I feel like uh, praying uh, for anybody that will watch this video, those who are watching now, and those that will watch uh, the saved uh, video. If you're suffering, if you if you are, if you are, um, you know, struggling with these uh, ancestral things uh, and your, you know, sometimes we want to do these things like I did uh, to please um, our families and, you know, but you know what, uh, hey, guys, I'm sorry, the scriptures say that Jesus said, I did not come to bring peace, but to turn a, a mother against the daughter and the son against the father. You know, it's, it's, it's in the context of these kind of things. Uh, some way, you know, they will respect us. We need to respect our parents. We need to respect. We need to respect people's religion. Me, this is why I study people's religion. I can have conversation with anybody from any any religion, respectfully so. But when it comes to the truth, I still speak the truth. You know, so we need to respect our parents. We need to respect people. Let people do these things. What I love about um, 
the word of God is that it's not saying let us Christianize everything. Let us know we don't impose like what apartheid did. No, you know people are given a choice. You know, come if you want salvation, if you want to repent, there's a kingdom of God that is coming. We're gonna get all of those nice things, and you're gonna have to live a holy life in this lifetime. You know, but if you want to practice those things, do what you want. You know, like Jesus said when he was closing the book of Revelation, let the wicked continue to do the wickedness and let the righteous do the, uh, the right thing. But I'll come back and give each one a reward according to their own lives. So, you know, but if in your heart you really, you really, really, really want to, please contact me, you know, uh, and, you know, and even right now, I think I feel like praying. So, Lord, I thank you for this wonderful moment uh, that you have laid in my heart in the last minute for me to do this. And I thank you for giving me the strength and the ability and everything that you wanted me to say. I believe that I've said, and if there's anything that I've said that is not of you and that is not true, I pray that you erase it um, from the memories of all those who watch this and from their hearts as well. But let your the seed that um, come from you uh, produce the fruit in all of these people and those that are struggling uh, with the spirits by the anointing and the power that you have given me as your messenger, as your vessel at this moment of time. I pray against all of those spirits and all of those people that are suffering, that are being, um, that are being tormented by demons and they don't know what to do because these demons, to show that they are demons, they actually terrorize people to turn them into sangomas and to turn them into all this kind of worship. They make people's lives not to go well so that they may turn into these things. So now I pray that, Lord, if you want them to, if these are your called people, I pray that um, all of these demons, they be backed out and these people be protected by the power and the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, our Christ. And I pray that you lead them into good Bible-based churches and let them give their lives unto you and repent and be born again. In I ask all of this in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Thank you guys for everyone that has uh, joined us. If you've got any topics or anything that you want us to cover, please uh, remember... Uh, just send them to me or send them to the group uh, and remember I've I, like I said I've got all of these topics remember um, this I cover much more materials on the YouTube videos so you know please uh, you may go there uh, and subscribe to this channel and hit uh, the notification so that whenever I upload a new video, you may get um, you may get the notification. So there's that one there called Life After Death. Uh, it's got all the details about what happens in the afterlife and all of these places that we just know as heaven and hell. But there's more places that we need to learn about. So thank you very much, everyone. Uh, I'll see you next time.